Hey, it's Derek from Mix96 with another edition of Derek's Good Deeds powered by JustServe.org. Today, we're going to talk to Richard from 100 Black Men Sacramento. Now, 100 Black Men Sacramento utilizes its diverse talents to create an environment that enables mentees to be motivated to achieve and be empowered to become self-sufficient. Let's talk to Richard and see what's going on with 100 Black Men Sacramento. We're here with Richard from 100 Black Men in Sacramento. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. Richard? Yeah, great, great, Derek. Uh, thank you for having me on your show. Appreciate it. What's your role with the 100 Black Men of Sacramento organization? I'm the recently elected president of the 100 Black Men of Sacramento. I, in addition to that, I serve on the national strategic planning team for the 100 Black Men of America. Well, how long has the organization been around and how did it get started? You know, the organization started in 1963 and it was in New York City. Uh, recently, um, Mayor David Dinkins passed away. He was one of the original founders along with Jackie Robinson and others. Wow. Uh, what are the vision and the mission? Can you break it down for us in simple terms, what this organization is about and what we're doing in the Sacramento community? Um, you know, basically we're looking to improve the quality of life within our communities, youth, parents, everyone, the communities at large, and enhance educational and economic opportunities for all African Americans uh, and everyone in the community. What are your the, the core programs, the central programs that you guys focus on within the organization? We nationally, uh, we have a program we call Four for the Future. And that includes, and that's some of the things I've got on the wall back here, mentoring, health and wellness, education, economic empowerment. So those are four key areas that we focus on in working with the community. So it's a holistic approach. You try to cover all, uh, many aspects. Yes, yes. Even more than that. These days with COVID, uh, with with uh, distant learning, uh, we've adapted and are, you know, providing information, town halls, webinars on subjects that are pertinent to the community right now. So what's the most important subject right now? And also, are you doing mentoring virtually or is there in-person mentoring as well at the moment? We all of last year we did mentoring uh, in person at Natomas Middle School, and uh, you know in March we basically had to switch over to uh, distant learning. Fortunately, the school district was great in providing the technology uh, and and the access, and so we were able to continue our mentoring program there, which consisted of our key program of mentoring the 100 way that has 17 different skill sets and uh, chapters that we teach the youth. In addition to that, uh, we worked in the STEM area with coding and robotics. So even with distant learning, uh, it was great. We were still able uh, through the internet and, and with some techie folks to still do some simulated uh, robotics also. Currently, well, how go ahead. Go sorry. ahead. I was going to say, how else has COVID-19 impacted your operations and, and mentoring? Well, as an organization, uh, we obviously cannot meet in person. So we also have adapted and, and have our virtual meetings. Uh, and it, it's, it's working out. Uh, we're, we've been able to grow as a chapter, increase our membership still, and uh, do the mentoring. And, and actually, uh, we're planning right now for a series of, of town halls that cover a wide variety of, of topics, uh, including COVID, healthcare, cancer prevention, violence prevention. Uh, we're also looking at social equality. Uh, we're looking at sorry, social equality, voter registration, and voter education. Do you have any events coming up? I know that we've got a couple of weeks left of 2020 uh, in the next two weeks. And then what are, what are you looking forward to in 2021 as far as events and mentorship goes? We're, we're planning right now. We have a series of events in 2021. So uh, the first one will be January 6th, and that will be a, a healthcare 2.0 uh, program that we have within the 100 Black Men of America. 
Uh, the information is located on our website and we're looking for attendees uh, to, and basically to talk about COVID as part of that also, um, health prevention, monitoring. There's some great technologies out there this day that allow you with Bluetooth to hook up to an app, work with your doctor and keep track of, of your personal health. And so we're, we're pushing that out to the community uh, during these, these times where it's really needed. So we can donate monetary donations, right? Can you volunteer and join? And are you looking to increase the Sacramento chapter in terms of membership? We certainly are interested in having new members join our cause. We would like to uh, provide mentoring in all of the school districts in the greater Sacramento area. We've recently start, uh, have been talking with the vice principal at Florin High School. And so uh, at our website, there is information if you would like to donate or volunteer or just send us a note and show your support. And that is 100blackmensac.org, correct? It is the number 100 blackmensac, S-A-C, dot org, correct. And a question for you, and I, I don't remember if you covered this in the very beginning, but why 100? You know, we do have uh, 100 chapters uh, nationally, uh, there, there are 98 in the continental USA, and we also have chapters in London oh, wow. and in the Caicos Turks Island. Wow. And so initially when they started in 1963, uh, the, the vision has grown from, from that point to some 10,000 members and over hundreds of thousands of youth that have been touched through our mentoring nurturing and helping to build these young men to be a great part of society. Is there anything else that do you want people who are watching to know about, about a hundred black men of Sacramento? Well, the hundred black men of Sacramento, again, uh, really look to be involved in the community and have the community support. Uh, we will be talking with the Sacramento mayor, uh, in, on February 27th, we're going to have a youth and parent uh, conference. And at that, we already have um, committed Chief Han, and we're going to have a, a violence uh, prevention panel uh, at that particular town hall. I'm sorry. We're going to have a violence prevention uh, panel at the youth conference. Uh, as well as we'll break out into different uh, Zoom rooms and we'll have uh, options every 20 minutes for the youth to um, learn more about different aspects. Uh, one is youth and the law. Another is on health and, and exercise. Uh, a number of different categories. There's six different um, sets there that they'll be able to go through. Very good. Richard, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Derek. Uh, happy holidays to everyone out there. Uh, well. Please reach out to us. Uh, we're easily accessible, and we'll get back to you right away. Very thank good. you. Thank you. Thank very you so much. much for your time, Richard. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks again to Richard of 100 Black Men of Sacramento. If you want more details, go to 100blackmensac.org. 100 Black Men of Sacramento is aspiring to be 100% involved and connected in the community. Also, for ways you can motivate service in the community, go to justserve.org. It's another edition of Derek's Good Deeds on Mix 96.